comfortable, you know. Yeah. There's, but there's a lot of skate parks in Japan that you must, you really have to wear helmets, you know. Right. Um, but, so, uh, oh, so you're saying that the one in Yokohama is better than better than that? I mean, you, you know, the, the, the Yoko, Yokosuka... Um, the Yokosuka Park, it's great, it's old, and it needs old, some work, yeah, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's a great park. But yeah. the Yokohama Park, it's modern. It's, yeah. it's a modern okay. skate park. Um, if you like ramps and transition, yeah. which is not mainly my thing, I'm definitely a street skater, so I, I like ledges and, and rails and things like that, uh-huh. which they have a, a couple of. Yeah. But yeah, Yokohama, if you like transition, like ramps and, and yeah. doing big airs, it's great, you know? Right. But I, I'm just more about that street. Right. Uh, what about back at home? Like it, it, on the Gold Coast, man, they yeah. get... They, They've done great things in skate parks on the oh, coast. Like, amazing, amazing. You things. skate on marble, yeah. so it's it's incredible. It's amazing. I mean, Brisbane's the same. Like Brisbane City, like the the sidewalks are all marble, mm. all marble. I mean, the police, you know, the police they don't really like it, but there's not much that they do do because you know, coming from Australia, it's not con- you know, it's not a condensed place. You can still move around on a skateboard yeah. and not be knocking people over. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I found that it's totally different in Japan. Like, it seems like they make the footpaths so you can't skate. Yeah. Whereas in back home, it's just, mar- like you said, the Gold Coast is marble, Brisbane's yeah. marble. The skate parks they're building now are, yeah. are world class. Yeah. Um, I've seen back home in Australia are world class, you know. Yeah. Japan is definitely behind in that league. Yeah. Um, I think they're just, I don't know, they're, they're still using yeah. um, basic, basic things. Whereas Australia, right. they're, they're looking at the States. Yeah, and they're like, we can do this. Yeah, we've got the space, we've got the budget, yeah. we can do it. Whereas Japan, they're like, I, I think skateboarding still looked at as like just punk kids, yeah, making trouble. Whereas, yeah, where we're from in the states, it's looked at as a lifestyle. Yeah, you and know? a chance to succeed in something. Yeah, and it's an yeah. outlet as well. And I think Japan really needs to step up because they, they've got the Olympics coming up, yeah. and it's going to be the first Olympics with skateboarding. Yeah, um, which is going to be very interesting, by the way, to see how that goes. Yeah, well, it blows my mind, man. Like for for a, a culture that just works too much, or well, you know, there are a lot of boys here that need to be warriors again, and a way to do that is to you know they make all the great dirt bikes. And they, they you know, all the great things come out of here. It's they certainly really surprise you with all these mountains that you can't. Get on a dirt bike anywhere, no, no. and for a start, and you know the, the and the physicality of a Japanese bloke is very balanced. It is yeah. perfect for skateboarding, of course, of course, yeah, more so than Aussies. Really, mm. I, I totally agree. Right. Mate. Um, yeah, just I don't know. I think they're still. You're right. That the boys do need to kind of step up a little bit more because I think, especially in Japan, um, I see it in other Asian countries as well. Video games, man. Video games, TV, and smartphones, iPhones. Yeah, it's just that's yeah. too much. Oh, yeah. It's, it's too much. There's not... You know, when we were growing up, when I came home from school, yeah. homework was the last thing on my mind. Video games were the last thing on my mind. I'll be yeah. out. Be changing my clothes. Yeah. Grab the pushy. Mm. I'll be out. That's it. Doing skids and burnouts. Even, even alone, just yeah. doing skids and burnouts, peace monos. Even in your own backyard. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think this technology has has killed yeah. a lot of that, you know what I mean? Unfortunately. For me too, man. I'm, I'm so addicted. Yeah. Oh. Like, I could feel the addiction. Like, as soon as I wake up this morning, just... Where's my phone? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah. But oh, you do. Just check. Mm. Yeah. Um, We're just monkeys. We are. And I do the same thing, you know? If I do the same thing. You know? I, I talk to a lot of people... On Instagram, just through the DM. Yeah. You know? I'm yeah. just like, oh, am I going to email? Or am I, I don't know, I'll just DM this person. I know, yeah. You know, I know their Instagram, I'll just DM them. Yeah. Um, and I've made a lot of contacts just doing that. Right. I still do use email. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of the time, it's it's my iPhone. It's wild. That's it, man. That's exactly right. But yeah, I think there's no balance. Like, mm. I, I tell kids that, you know, there were no mobile phones. There was no internet yeah. when we were growing up. And they're just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, you know. Yeah. So you know I heard yesterday. Remember when you'd say, "I swear on my mum's life that that is true." Like, yeah. my uncle Barry yeah. can juggle. Blah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I swear on my mum's life. Well, you'd say that. Well, um, Google has replaced all that yeah. saying. My, my no, that no one even says that anymore. Mm-hmm. You can just find facts out. Yeah, you just like Google it. And you're full of shit, mate. Yeah. You know? like, yeah. So yeah. It's some good outfit. Yeah, but no, back back to you know back to kids these days. I think that they do need to get outside a lot more yeah. um, and experience. Like yeah. kids are very sheltered. Yeah, at the moment, get hurt. Just get exactly. your knees up. And yeah, 
Now, actually, we're in the all right. We're in the karaoke room. We what are. do you think of? Um, uh, you know, what do you think of Japanese? Well, there's so much Japanese music. There's there's Japanese pop, and you you don't see. Yeah, they, they have bands with like forty eight yeah. girls in them, and yeah, and mul- multiple bands with forty eight people, not only one band. Yeah. You know? <laughs> It's it's very consumer driven. Yeah. Um, I, I I do know people in the industry. I'm not a big fan of Japanese music, to be honest. Um, one, because especially with the Japanese pop music, it's very fabricated. It's very. I mean, Western yeah. pop music is as well, but Japan is even more yeah. so. And I think I don't know. It just doesn't flow as well. Mm-hmm. And I'm not. And again, I'm not saying this in a negative yeah. tone at all. Like I, I'm glad that they're all doing their thing, but it just doesn't flow. Yeah. As well as Western music, I reckon they're confused too. Right at this stage, in, in yeah, it's like ugh, we've been doing this now for 15, 20 years. Like nothing has really changed. No, and, well, unfortunately, the the reason behind that is because there's you know there's one group of people that control the Japanese music industry, and they're you know they're old people in their seventies, eighties, and nineties now, and it's that it's that thing of in in Japan once again, the older generation control what's going on right. and I think that's why there's not a lot of change at the moment yeah. there will be yeah. Um, but yeah, especially with them finding out what's cool in the world yeah. like, like every country mm-hmm. um, I think I think Japan don't quote me but I think Japan is like the second highest grossing as far as money goes wow. the second highest grossing country wow. um, like music sales wise I think that's, okay. that's, that's like I said don't quote me but you know you, like you said you do have the, the bands with the 48 members mm-hmm. and the amount of people in Japan as well is just, and they, yeah. they J- Japanese people do buy CDs, right? You know, streaming, downloading. That's still, yep, very yeah. new in Japan. Yeah, what I find uh, with the, it's kind of quirky about you see it in, in the, on the Gold Coast too. If you, you'll find a, a Japanese surfer, or, or you see it here particularly. Yeah, if if you decide to be okay, I'm a I'm a surfer and. It, Japanese people kind of decide yeah. who they are yeah. and who they align themselves with. That's right. And they go and buy all the stuff from the shops, like everything, all yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah. All of it, So, yeah. which is very different to an Australian. We just go, oh, geez, I don't want to embarrass myself. I might buy, buy a surfboard and poke out the side here. Yeah, and, 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 and a cheap shit one at that, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. not, not going to go buy the, the no. most expensive one, no. So with music, I can imagine a, a Japanese person going, no, I love Exile. Yeah, yeah. That's you know, right. I just... Bang, buying yeah. it all and being yeah. all about their stuff you yeah. know, and, in the and same way. modelling themselves after those members yeah. as well, like down to the hairstyle. Just doing um, it for years. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, but it's all, there's also, in that regard as well, like um, you, like you said, Japanese people do decide this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. A lot of the time they, they change their mind very quickly as well. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they'll decide this week I'm going to be a DJ. Right. They'll go out and buy all the DJ equipment yeah. and they'll do it for a couple of years and then they're like, yeah. oh, I'm not really into it anymore. I'm going to sell it. Yeah. Um, which I do find a lot of in Japan. Like, you go to the second-hand stores, and it doesn't yeah. matter what, how can I say this, like, what culture or what sub- subculture yeah. that you're into, you'll always find, like, a really good item. Say say you want to be a DJ, you can go to a second-hand store and find, like, almost brand oh, new yeah. turntables. I love the second-hand stores here, man. They're amazing. Did amazing. you know, because my wife's Japanese, yeah. that um, there aren't many second-hand stores, right? Where are you from? Are there many? Um, no, you know, you've got Vinny's and um, Lifeline, but have you? Oh, what? In, in Yokohama? Oh, no, 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 sorry. In Yo- not in Yokohama, I thought you meant yeah. back, back home. No. No, well, yeah, do you know why? No. In the Shinto, the old, old Shinto religion, if, yep. you've, if you've got a guitar under the bed yeah. and you go, I don't want this anymore in Australia, yeah. you go and sell it yeah. or, well, in the Shinto religion of Japan, that like, carries the spirit of the former owner. I see. So it's, it's kind of... No, there a lot of people are getting over that now. Yeah, to have a second hand store is a pretty wild concept. Okay, so I've, I've taken a few guitars, great guitars home. Oh, yeah, I'm in sure. Hoski here because there's a big American base, of course. Yeah, because in my life's going, Why are you buying that? I'm like, <laughs> I don't care about the spirits of the former owner, yeah. he used to rock. Yeah, 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 <laughs> <that's> right. <laughs> exactly, man. That's so, yeah, exactly so, right. so it's a, uh, a big score here. Some of these second hand shops for that reason, once you know that, you go, Ah. Oh. It, yeah, it's, someone special who actually gave this up for a start. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The, some of the some of the things um, I'm not going to mention, but yeah, some of the things I've found in Japan at the secondhand stores. Just my mention word. it. Um, dildo. It's a dildo. No, 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 no. <laughs> nothing like that. Nothing like that. Just, I mean, for, you know, things that things that are worth a lot of money. Yeah. That yeah, uh, you find cheap. 
Yeah, you know. Oh yeah. Um, there, there's nothing that comes to mind. I've, I've over the, over the few years, I've found so many fucking things, dude, that right. are worth like a lot of money. Yeah. Um, well, I sold that this guitar, one of these guitars. Uh, ACDC Malcolm Young Gretsch okay. bought it here for 660 bucks yep. sold it in Australia for $2,400 there you go man you know um, and I didn't even barter like I could have yeah you could have got, got a bit more maybe yeah but no I've, I've found you know I've found things here um, that I have sold for quite a bit of money um, but yeah like I, I don't want to say because I just don't want to come off like I'm exploiting yeah the industry you know what I mean because there's no way I'm trying to exploit the industry but I've definitely bought and sold stuff and made some good money right doing it um, but yeah, I mean, there's, you can find some great secondhand items. As, again, the amount of people in Japan, I think that's why you can find some great secondhand stuff. Um, whether it be, you know, I, I buy books, I buy records, I buy clothes, sneakers, whatever it may be, man. Yeah. You can you can find something that will suit. And storage, you. like in a typical Japanese home, there's it's just cramped with with stuff. You just can't keep as much stuff as we do in, back home. No, and see, I, I live in a typical Japanese home, and I buy like I was buying back home. Right. And it's just ridiculous. Yeah. You know, I'm buying records, I'm buying sneakers, I'm buying books. Yeah. Um, I'm slowly, slowly like filling, living you know, in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm closing yeah. myself into this little yeah. gap where it's just like I'm in front of my, my you know, because I've got my studio. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm buying things and putting them in my studio. Right. Just out of control. You know? Do you ever ship at home? Do, uh, no, no. No. Okay. No. Um, What's your plans? Are you going to. Mm, I'm about to do a gig with a bass player who spent 12 years here. I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't plan to retire in Japan. Okay. And my wife, she's Japanese as well, and yeah. she's the same. We're, we're not going to retire here. Right. Eventually, we'll, we'll be moving back home. Yeah. I want to buy a house, yeah. but I don't want to buy a house in Japan. Yeah. Um, one, because of the size. There's no backyard. There's no front yard. There's, you know, yeah. just the size. Also, if you buy a house in Japan... From the best of my knowledge and from what I've been told, it doesn't appreciate. It actually depreciates. Right. So, you know, right. it, it, I, I do want to buy a house. But, yeah, Australia is in my heart and it's somewhere that I will definitely be, be moving to. Um, I've been here for five years. I don't know how much longer I'll be here. I might be here for another six months. I might be here for another five years. Yeah. But, you know, I, I don't see myself being here for another five years. Oh. Do you need nothing? Much, much. Um, yeah, so, I mean, just just the lifestyle, the Australian lifestyle is what yeah. me and my wife are both into, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just that freedom. Again, living in the city, we don't have a lot of trees, we don't have a lot of grass, mm. um, but, you know, when you go back home, that's that's everywhere. I mean, the playgrounds, yeah. the playgrounds here for children are dirt. Yeah. Like I don't yeah, get it. I really. A, yeah. Well, um, I, I say to my wife every year, it's because the climate's so wild. Like, yeah, yeah summer it, it's so hot and everything grows really fast. Right. But it gets so cold here that all the grass is gone anyway, and, and it's a granite surface because yeah. it's a uh, volcanic granite. That's right. So there's no grass in any of the places. No. And that's another thing. The weather. Like, I love summer. Don't get me wrong. I do. I, even the Japanese summer. It's so humid, but I do like yeah. it. But winter. I'm not a fan. Right, like yeah. I, I can't stand it. Like I didn't even own um, a down jacket until yeah. I came to Japan. Sure, you know, yeah, yeah. You don't need it. Like, Twenty four degrees all around. <laughs> Wear a t shirt and shorts yeah. in the middle of winter. You know. Yeah. So yeah, it's just it's the weather's wild. But no, I, it, this isn't a place I'm going to retire. I'm here yeah. now and I'm just enjoying yeah. it. Um, it's an experience. But yeah, eventually we will be moving back. We um, oh, it's such a trap, man. It, because. Um, I lived in Brisbane. I yeah. grew up at High School in yep. Springwood. Yep. Uh, lived in Sydney for a long time. Yep. And then back to the Gold Coast. Sure. It's kind of a curse because uh, I've, and I've, I've been a lot of places around the world, not everywhere, not, haven't been to Europe at all. But everywhere I go, I was like, yeah, it's not as good as the Gold Coast. I wish I could swim in the ocean right now. That's right. You know, that crystal clear water. I wish I could do this right now. I wish I could go to a pub yeah. that has a, like a balcony. That's right. And watch some sport. I don't know. Yeah. Even don't even watch sport. But exactly. And I mean, it's just sometimes it's just even, especially being in Japan. It's just you just want to speak English to someone. Yeah. Like that's it's just something simple like that. Like you yeah. know, you just submerged all day, every day, Japanese, yeah. Japanese, Japanese, and it's just like yeah. no, I just want to speak English to someone. Yeah. And, and the like, constant what spins me out if I ever go to Yokohama Station or. Yeah. Or Tokyo, yeah. There is a buzz in the air of people in transit, yeah, at, all the time. They're yeah. all in transit, so it's. Uh, I'm not a hippie, but definitely it's something you can feel. It's an unsettling, especially if you're from 
Australia, of course. Like, just, oh, I wish everyone would calm down. Because <laughs> then, then when you...